Hey guys, Chris Stathis here with Insomniac Games, bringing you another edition of Beyond the Game, where we profile what insomniacs do when they're not at work. Today, beekeeping with Steve Ratter. I was in a, in a Los Angeles band called Slug. <laughs> Slug, all right. Yeah, and it was a six-piece band that was very loud and very heavy. I was a much younger man at that time, and I, I needed freedom to be in a band. And I was working in a record store, which gave me a certain amount of leeway to do that. But one day an ex-employee came in and she said, we've got positions there for people to play video games and get paid for it. So after testing games for a few years, I thought that I wanted to start having more of a hand in making them. The job of an environment artist is to primarily create the backgrounds and set the stages for where the player is going to be playing. So we rely on the concept team to work from concept art, but also a lot of reference that we do in searching the internet and looking through books, finding a lot of architectural reference, and really giving a logic to what we're doing, as well as breathing some life and some humanity into making these spaces. Being part of Resistance has been a heck of a lot of fun. And last year got lucky enough to have the, the challenge to be part of the Ratchet and Clank universe yeah. and kind of give a crack at that yeah. so for doing kind of realistic gritty bleak war-torn landscapes going to a ratchet world yeah. that's yeah. very colorful and very whimsical it's a little bit different but in the end it was very rewarding and thought it looked really stellar I was really happy with the the work and cool. um, Are there any suggestions you might have for anybody that are looking to get into the industry that I mean, you've been doing it for a while now, so yeah. I'm sure the whole landscape is, is a little bit different now. But uh. It's quite a bit different, and I'm not sure if the test department is necessarily the modern-day equivalent of the mail room to get into something right. like uh, programming or art, but Insomniac, we, we hire within yeah. quite a bit, and a yeah. lot of people that are from the test department end up uh, rising to great heights. Well, I had heard a story on the radio one day just driving around. It was a very interesting story about sort of the, the crisis and the plight that the, the honeybees are in right now. So one night around the dinner table, we sort of brought it up simultaneously about, hey, I know this is kind of a crazy idea, but wouldn't it be kind of cool if we started keeping bees? And, it, and it's proven to be way more eye-opening and bizarre and incredible and fun than I ever could have imagined. So we're going to take a little trip into a beehive, okay? and we're going to do a little inspection, kind of give you an idea about what it looks like inside, tell you a little bit of interesting facts about bees, and the hobby of beekeeping. That's what we want to do, is gorge themselves, because they think they have to go on a long flight, they don't know when they're going to get back to their home, because their right. home's on fire, so yeah. do a little puffs. There you go, a couple of nice, slow, get a lot of smoke out there. Wow, that's so, a lot of bees. That's a lot of bees. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're gonna move this over here. All right, you got it? That, now if you were to drop that, what would happen? Well, I wouldn't want to guess. So when they're in egg laying mode every day, boom, it comes out. Uh oh, I dropped my hive tool. All right, hold it. All right, they're a little mad. Oh, they're crazy. All right, they're so crazy. So it's time to put them down. They don't like me dropping the hive tool. No, they definitely did not like that. All right, so we're gonna try and just put this in and say good night to them. All right, yeah, they're really, they're really wanting us to finish. Yeah, they, they are freaking out right now. I'm, I'm surprising. Oops. Oh, See, I'm don't dro drop that. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got some. Got a little color here. Oh yeah, a little redness. 